what's up youtube welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are having a very good day today i will be doing a wig tutorial um right now i'm kind of just rushing a little bit i'm about to go take pictures that's why and i don't want it to look crazy by the time i come back home so yeah today i'll be showing you guys how i installed this um i would say it's like wavy this wavy tea part wig yeah i really love this unit this unit is really soft it is really long i'm trying to think of everything that i think i'd be missing because a lot of times i'd be talking and i'd be forgetting what i kind of want to talk about so yeah this wig is very very soft it is very very long honestly i don't know but i have a feeling that i already reviewed this wig before but i'm really not sure but i feel like i've had but i don't know when it comes to black wigs i really don't know because i have so many so yeah make sure that you follow me on the gram at drea dot underscore t and on tiktok it's drea stunning so make sure y'all go follow and do all that good stuff i be telling y'all all the time to go follow them. so yeah let me just make this a quick intro and yeah um everything will be linked down below and i'm trying to think what else am i missing yeah Like damn, she need her move. 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 She lit, got money too. Like damn, she need her move. So I'll be getting straight into this. Um, I'm combing all the edges back. This wig did come with edges. I just combed all of them back, and I'm using these scissors that I got from Amazon, adjusting my wig and cutting it into three sections so I can just take it piece by piece and just glue it down. Um, this is the Kiss Almighty Lace Blonde, Blonde bro, what? <laughs> Bond glue. And I'm also using this blow dryer. This blow dryer is also from Amazon. This is like a travel size blow dryer. And yeah, again, just adjusting the wig around my ears seeing what really fits well this wig is again big head friendly um all these wigs to me are going to be big head friendly just because my head is very very freaking small so yeah and i go in from using the comb and my fingers and hands and stuff just to really make sure it's like melted i did use a new wig cap method and i think this one is really really nice i don't know if these wig caps are thinner than the other one but this one seems very seamless this one looks like i was actually bald <laughs> this one was nice and i did use a combination of the bronzer bronzer what the freak bro the bronzer <laughs> that i usually use in the foundation I went between those and used that on my wig cap. If you guys want a wig cap method, um, let me know if you guys want to see that. I just feel like everybody does it, so I was just like, damn, like, I don't know if you guys want to see that, because I feel like, you know, it's kind of the same stuff over and over again. But anyways, I go ahead and pull my wig cap back a little bit more as well, just because I think it was a little too far on my forehead, so I just pushed it back a little bit and took some of the wig cap off. Again, I'm going in with the Kiss Almighty glue. Sorry, I'm looking at something. <laughs> glue. And um, I'm just going to go ahead and blow dry it. Make sure it gets all tacky and stuff and lay it down. Again, I press mad hard on my lace <laughs> to make sure it's like really in there. Like I do not play. And again, I'm going in with my toothbrush. Just again, brushing the edges back so I don't cut. A lot of them off and yeah I didn't do the zigzag method I was definitely rushing during this time I usually do the zigzag method so it can be more seamless but again it was fine still because I used my bronzer and that bronzer really works well for my lace it's like basically the exact color like it's like amazing like oh my gosh I hope they never discontinue that bronzer for real because that really helps a lot with my laces so yeah. Let me get you wrong with a hop at the chart. Pretty bitch like Lauren with a big ass butt, yeah. 
pretty face and a waist all gone And I'm making them way hold on And I'm making them way hold on Way hold on As you can see there, I lifted some of that lace up as well And cut a little bit more of that off Just going in, cutting the unnecessary pieces And then I take these claw clips Pull my hair back And just get the Get the tinting with that bronzer that I was talking about earlier that I really, really liked. This, like I said, matches my like skin color like perfectly. Like this is like my holy grail right here. So yeah. <laughs> um, what was I gonna say? I did like this wig. I felt like it was very long. I'm five one by the way. So if you guys need a, like a little reference of like how tall and why it was so like long to me. This thing was, I think it was a little bit past my, but I think just a little bit. So yeah, I'm going in, parting out my edges. I did basic edges this time. I usually do like the two edges in the front, sometimes three, but that's rare nowadays. And then I do the sideburns, but I think later on the week, like I'll do sideburns and stuff. But for right now, I was just feeling the whole two edges at first i was gonna do any edges at all but i was like you know what i'm gonna just go ahead and do it because i was in the mood for it and yeah um i always go out and try to like shape it before i actually cut it so i can you know see what's the perfect amount of edges that i want to cut instead of cutting too much or like too little i did end up having to go back in because i felt like they were still too long so I just made sure my scissors were slanted and just cut it like that. <laughs> Y'all see that hair getting stuck in my lash? <laughs> oh my days, bro. Anyways, I go in with some Gorilla Snot gel. And then I go in with the lace glue itself. Like the lace, the lace glue that I use to install this hair, I actually go over the edges with it as well. Because once I do that, it stays for days y'all like it stays for days it does not move so i was just like you know what to save me some time i'm gonna do that and i usually do it a lot too like i've been doing it since last year and i noticed it was just like an experimental day for me and i noticed that it just stayed for days and i didn't have to keep on redoing my edges over and over and over again and you'll take off the edge glue the same way you'd take off your actual wig and just use some alcohol and stuff so if you're worried about it just staying all stiff and stuff just use some alcohol and just take it off that way and yeah again i'm gonna do the same for the other side hot comb just hot combing the top and then i like that little lifted look in the front so i'm just gonna go in the front of my lace front and just hot comb it backwards um <laughs> yeah i'm trying to get this out before two o'clock y'all because i'm trying to be on like a steady schedule here so yeah um, if you guys want to know what is my new schedule for posting, it'll be like every Friday. I'm trying to make it every Friday. Like I said, I stopped posting twice a week and just started posting once a week. And I kind of want it to be stable, like every Friday type of thing, you know? So yeah. Back to this hair. 
Um, I'm going to go ahead and comb it out, fluff it out, and see how it looks. I'm going to go in with a wide tooth comb. Like I said, I always prefer a wide tooth comb over a brush or anything. Just because I just think brushes just be making it look too frizzy. And then, as you can see, I'm also going back in with more of that bronzer that I was using earlier and just going in a little bit more and tinting it again I didn't do any side edges no nothing like I would usually do I only did two edges in the front and that was about it I think I had to take pictures the next day yeah so I only needed to do two edges so yeah <laughs>